series of videos, the Seamaster Chronicles, we'll explain to you how a watch that's sprouted from the watches that Omega delivered to the Royal Air Force during World War II has become so much more. The very first Seamaster was introduced by Omega in 1948. It has grown to become a collection, a large collection in fact, in which you can find not one iconic watch or two iconic watches, but a host of iconic watches. I think most people know someone who has inherited a Seamaster from their father or grandfather. That could be either an elegant dress watch from the 1960s or a big and rugged professional dive watch. This year, 2018, Omega is celebrating the 70th anniversary of the Seamaster and also the 25th anniversary of the Seamaster Diver 300 meters, which is also known as the James Bond watch. In this third video of the Seamaster Chronicles, Omega's Vice President of Production, Andreas Hopmeyer, will provide a technical perspective on the Seamaster Diver 300 meters. Welcome to the new uh, building in, in Bien from Amiga Production. We have here a chance to show you the, the new METAS lab. We call it METAS, but it's the Master Chronometer Certification Lab that we uh, developed. It's completely new. We started one year ago uh, with this new lab. We stopped the old one in the old building to increase the capacity. And uh, it's really an honor to show you also here all the magnets that we have here where we do the certification of all master chronometer watches. So it's actually dedicated to our customer so that we can do a simulation when a customer is wearing his watch in the daily environment. We try to have that in a lab so that we have a standard environment so that we can test it in a, in a standard way, uh, certified by METAS. So actually the, what are we testing here, it's not only the water resistant test as we do it for 20 years or 25 years in Omega, every watch goes into the water. It's really also to certify, of course, the magnet fields. The magnet fields are all over the place. They started with a magnet on your, on your fridge, uh, but also on your laptop or on your iPad. You have now magnets all over with a force that goes up to 3,000 Gauss, or uh, if you do a scan on your, on your head, in the hospital is 15,000 cows. You see here behind me a permanent magnet where we can then do that simulation of 15,000 cows and that's the heart actually of the certification. The certification is actually based that we start with a certification of the movement. So already a movement has to go in a magnet field with 15,000 cows, then it has not to stop. So that's the first test. Then for us up to now the precision of a watch was done with a chronometer certification and the chronometer certification is based on the basic movement and for us it was really important that we do a simulation of a customer who is buying a watch which is certified as a watch so that's why also we do a certification of the magnet field of course with a complete watch head that has been assembled also in these facilities here in Bien. Once that is done, so it has not to stop, and you see behind, then we, we measure that directly uh, with acoustic system. And we have to prove that to the METAS that that is not stopping in the magnet field. Once that is done, we have a simulation of a user wearing his watch. So we are going to different positions. If you are wearing your watch, you're having 33 degrees on your uh, arm. And if you take it off during the night, you have 23 degrees. And that's what we are simulating with robot systems behind to have turning the, the watches in six different positions compared with the chronometer certification, it's only five. We are testing here uh, six positions. And a test is on the following side. We take a picture of the hands of the watch compared with the official time of METAS. METAS is also responsible here in Switzerland for the right timekeeping in that way with their atomic watches in Bern. And secondly, then we do 24 hours later, we do another picture or filming the hands of the, of the watch and compare it with the real time. And then we see the deviation. And the deviation in our certification defined by METAS, open for everybody for the master chronometer, is zero to five seconds a day. Compared with a COSC certification, which is minus four plus six, uh, it's half of the, the deviation that is allowed to fulfill. And this deviation is not only on one day or on 15 days like the COSC certification, it's really magnetized, demagnetized of a watch. So, you as a customer, you don't care whether you are now near to a magnet field or not. 
near to the magnet field, it's running your watch. You don't care whether you go into the water 300 meters or 800 meters on certain models, or you just stay on your shower and the watch should not take any water, of course. And that's the same thing with magnetic fields. If you touch a magnetic field, you don't care whether it's now magnetized or not magnetized. It's very important that the watch is still running like it should at the early beginning. We are also testing, for example, not only the deviation, but also, for example, the power reserve, also the simulation that we are doing here. So we have to wait the 60 hours or 65 hours till the power reserve is done to check whether that also is fulfilled in the certification. We have eight criteria that we are measuring here, and each individual watch out of our collection is actually having their own results. And their own results can then be uh, showed to our customer with the certification of the master chronometer card, a red card that we have uh, with the sales of our watches to our hand over to our customer and then he can see the results, individual results that we measured here on the third floor of this building. So actually the metas here they have uh, three levels of control. The first level, they have, uh, of course, an audit every year. So they come here like an ISO certification. They control our quality system. They control uh, the training of the people, our 300 people that we have here now in our building. Uh, they controlling also that the uh, processes are quite nicely and perfectly uh, designed. And of course, they have a second uh, possibility to check here. They can actually have access to all our statistical data. So they can see when we have a problem, for example. If we have 1% of pieces that are not passing, all of a sudden we have 10%, they can cut off our production. So that's another level of certification than a regular certification that is just based on it's passing or it's not passing. And the third part, uh, we are here in the final inspection. They come every day and they pick up a few pieces that are double checking with their, with their system. So that means the 10 days of certification we did already in the production, uh, after the production, our uh, master chronometer certification process, they are redoing with their own machines. So the 280 steps that it takes to have a certification, they have possibilities to do here. So the pieces that they pick, the examples that they pick, they double check with their own system and the deviation of their results compared with our results, precision that is defined with the measurements uh, of the system that we have at the disposition. That's very, very important for us so that you have the three level controls uh, by them and uh, also they are neutral. You see I have no access to the door so it's really they are independent here so that we have nothing to hide here in the building also with the visitors that can come. You can, everybody can see here how are we doing it? It's not uh, somewhere in the, in the cage or in the ground floor or somewhere where nobody has access. We're showing everything, everybody can come and they have the results uh, which will be then the certification of our products confirming that the high tests that we are doing on all levels, uh, water resistant, uh, magnet fields, precision is completely fulfilled according their regulations. So, um, what does it mean for the customer? So, for our customer, it's very important. I think that they has a reliable watch. He doesn't care whether it's now it's in the water, he's diving, especially now for the new collection that we have for the Seamaster 300 meter, which is a model that is uh, certified up to 300 meters water pressure. Uh, that means we have to add another 25% according to international law for a diver watch. And additionally, with METAS, they added another 5% because the measurements uh, of our tools are not so precisely, so we are nearly up to 400 meters, which is very important that you have no problem when you go using your watch when diving really deep in the water. And uh, on the other hand, you don't care whether you go and pass at the airport uh, certain magnet fields or at home and you have an induction cooking uh, field which has also strong magnet fields. So you are safe with your watch and that's very important for us. And of course, at least at the end, it's also the precision. So we have five seconds and what we are measuring here and realizing now the measurements are really on the highest level and there is no deviation also with the time. And also it keeps the value 
for the time. We are also guaranteeing for four years at the moment and also that we have spare parts available for the next 25 years and, and longer. And also the customer service in our, in our facilities here is very strong where we can do repair or maintenance of your watch to guarantee that these values that we have put in here at the beginning of the production just keep on going for the whole life uh, of the watch. In the last 25 years, there have been several generations of the Seamaster Diver 300 meters, adding for instance a coaxial escapement or a ceramic bezel. Over the past three generations of the watch, the design changed just a bit. One of the most big changes was actually that the wavy pattern on the dial that was so much recognizable uh, was changed for a glossy lacquer dial. The new Seamaster Diver 300 meter that was introduced at Basel World 2018 now packs all the technically advanced features that Omega has to offer. Maybe the best way to describe this watch is to say that it's conservative in design and innovative in its execution. The dial features again the wave pattern and it's actually laser engraved in a ceramic based dial. The bezel is ceramic and the diving scale is filled with white enamel or satin gold depending on the version. The case is now 42mm and still features the helium valve at the 10 o'clock position. Besides the diver extension that it already featured in, in all the previous models, it now features a fine adjustment that adds almost one full link in, in size. What's absolutely new for the Seamaster Diver 300 collection is actually that it has a see-through back. Through the sapphire crystal you can observe the master chronometer movement, which is caliber 8800. It's an automatic movement with a very nicely adorned rhodium plated rotor. Like all master chronometer movements, the Calibre 8800 is anti-magnetic to 50,000 Gauss and it features an coaxial escapement. The free spring balance with silicon balance spring takes at a rather unusual rate of 3.5 Hz, but it also makes sure that the movement delivers approximately 55 hours of power reserve. The movement and the watch have been tested according to the master chronometer testing procedures and come with a meta certification.